hello everyone andy back with another first impressions and in this video we are taking a look at hot brass uh this game is inspired by the swat games of old where it was like you know the i think the swat games were were they first person or third person view or did they switch between the two i i, I think they were first person the only swat game i remember playing back in the day was uh swat 3 i think i still have the cd rom of it somewhere but i for the life of me i can't think of if it's uh third person or first person anyway uh the developers i think they're uh just two guys two people that do uh the, uh, the developing over at walk with kings uh are inspired by it and so they made a game sort of like it <laughs> um it's gonna go for well first off it's developer is walk with kings publisher is uh fellow traveler and it goes for 14.99 right now on steam full release as of this recording um it's kind of your top down real-time tactics strategy action conglomerate just everything thrown in but basically it's just it's an action strategy game top down view and the one thing that everyone's gonna have a problem with but first we'll go into settings before we do all that uh of course you got disable explicit language tactical effects what's that when off all local players must activate their tactical equipment to see any on any screen distortion effects interesting customized colors oh okay well that's i'll leave it at that um language english what kind of language do they have english chinese russian okay uh controls you can very simplistic controls keyboard bonding but eh. audio simple audio controls we can turn the music down just a tad bit let's go see is it even working wow wow we're turning down to 50. <laughs> Uh, and then video, not many options, just resolution, full screen, desync, target frame rate, show FPS counter, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Uh, like I said, before I got cut myself off and went into the settings and everything, uh, oh, I'm going to cut myself off again. You can play local four player or online four player. So that's pretty neat. So you don't have to play single player on it and everything, but you know, I'm going to do that right here um the again getting back to it the the most divisive thing about this uh hot brass game is okay let's just wait why is it why is it picking that name i must have a set thing saved on there for that all right that's weird oh select profile can i make a new profile interesting wait let me go back uh profiles can i oh yeah i can delete that must have been from the beta oh uh, okay mail what oh mail voice okay laser sight color show reloading hood crouch aim assist controller laser sight controller vibration um okay weird I didn't know how to make a profile. All right, so the thing that's very, very, very divisive, divis, divis, I can't even think of the name of it, is what you see here. Little, like, tokens as your uh, character icons. Um, I guess we have to do special weapons training first. Slide and dirty, collect all evidence while sliding <laughs> as soon as possible. Time trial, uh, we're not gonna do all that. We're just gonna casually go through this. Like you got the bad ass character art, right? Like these characters are cool as hell. It's just the problem. Music's not bad either. It's very, very, very cop music. Um, bullets can shoot through walls and covered. It just takes a while as in real life. As you can see, I'm just a freaking icon, like a little token. I'm a little token with sound waves coming out because that's um 
basically, you know, let, alerting anybody nearby that, hey, there's somebody walking. So you know, if you want to be stealthy, you gotta, can we walk? Yeah, we can walk. Oh. And we can walk slow if we tap it. <laughs> but this is the thing that everyone's complaining about and saying, why can't you use like some low res sprites or something other than a um, token icon uh, to represent uh, the character that you're playing. And the developer's biggest reason why is because it's the best way that they can convey information on a top down perspective of uh, what's going on, like what the actions that your character is doing as far as um, what web, if you have a weapon equipped, what weapon, if you're reloading, if you're in handcuffing someone, if you're using a stun grenade, um, whatever the case may be, it was the best way for them to be able to uh, represent what's going on screen and relay information quickly to the players. Since this is a like action tactic strategy kind of game where you need to know information on the fly real fast. And again, it's only two guys, two people. And well, I, 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 I can see why people are like very eh about this, but you really have to look past that. You really do. All right, so we're here. Okay. Oh, left shift to walk. I didn't see what that said. Okay, so we can we can sneak walk if we need to. Oh, it's a toggle. Oh, press space while moving the sprint. I wasn't reading that correctly. And see how the icon jiggles back and forth when you're running. It kind of moves. That's pretty cool. Let's control crouch behind the cover. Oh, uh, see when it it's bright up, brighten up. Do I go this way? No. Oh. Okay, that's considered cover. All right. Hold space to slide. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. E to use stairs. All right. Completed movement training. <laughs> All right, heads up display, hold tab to show the HUD. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. Uh, use mouse wheel to change mini map floors. Oh, when I'm holding the tab. Okay. Wait, shoot that. I figured we, oh wait, gotta use E. Training. Uh, unlocking door. Unlocking door. Uh, how do we reach? Now oh, we just open it. Wait, do I just keep going? Oh, okay. Making entry. Make an entry, breaking a damn window. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, tactical equipment training. Old V next to a door. Oh, wait, I gotta be up against it. Looking under door. Looking under door. Night vision, nobody there. We're good. Let's go. Oh, flashlight. Or as they call it, a torch. Oh, I hit the reload button. Whoops. Firearms training. One, two, Q. Okay. Can I pick a weapon? All right. All right, hostiles. Reload. And check ammunition. Okay. Gadget training. Press three or four. All right. Three of those. Three of those. Throw flashbang. I just flashbang myself. Awesome. <laughs> I'm blind. All 
All right. Uh, place breaching charge. Planning charge. All right. Breaching. Oh my God, that was loud. <laughs> that scared the piss out of me. Why is this so loud? Why are you so loud, video game? All right. Uh, what's this? Character stats. Characters can change between neutral, hostile, and comp compliant. Hostile characters may be neutralized with lethal force. Compliant characters should be detained as soon as possible. All right. Get down. Get down. Show me your hands. Put them up. Get down. Okay. And then arrest time. On the ground. Don't move. Hands up. Stop. Hands up. Stop where you are. Oh. Hold after taste. Stop burn subjects. Hmm. Come here. What's up? Police on your knees. Police on your on the ground. Yeah. What thought? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to do that. Detain the target. I like the little tip. I love the... All right, now what? Arms and evidence. Press... Oh. Oh, we have to go. Okay. That music is really loud. Holy crap, I gotta turn the audio down a little bit. The audio is a little all over the place. Uh... Continue to debriefing. Wow. Okay. That's one thing they need to fix is the audio levels for things. All right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I didn't, I was gonna say, I, I don't, I don't think I recovered all the, no, no challenges, no casualties. Yeah. New mission unlocked. Real world experience. Cause that's what every, uh, SWAT member needs. Uh, continue. Complete one and two to unlock the next mission. Okay. Grace Hills PD received a call from resident Adrian Poulter. Who reported at least two unidentified males breaking into the rear of his Thompson's Road townhouse. He also reported hearing them discuss who should hold a firearm. Poulter and his girlfriend remained in the front of the house, fearful of any potential perpetrators outside. Wait. Remain in the front of the house. Front of the house outside or inside? Because it's... Okay. Operating... In a residential area poses a high risk to surrounding civilians. The police have begun evacuating neighbors where possible, but exercise extreme caution nonetheless. While we don't have exact information on the threat level, your training should allow you to resolve this without any casualties. Remember, you must secure everyone at the scene. Doing so greatly reduces risk for everyone. We can figure out who's who once their area is safe, which is kind of how it textbook. All right, so armor, we got light armor, complete shock therapy two, and remote monitoring. Start. We start without me and Lou Crime Syndicate. Okay, so we get different armors as we get further in. Whoop! But no, 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 no. How do I go? Interesting. How do I go back? Oh, you have to actually select. Okay, that's a little, a little odd to do that. Shotgun. I have no idea what that is. Paintball gun. Why would I want to use a paint? All right, whatever. Whatever, man. Secondary. What do we got for secondary? Pistol and pistol. Okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. We got flash. Oh, we got a bunch of gadgets. What's that? C4? Frag grenade. No idea what that is. No, that I no idea what the dot is. All right, I guess we're ready because we can't really do anything extra. Let's go. Try this first mission and uh, see what it's like. Disable a floor's fuse box to turn power off to that floor. Oh, okay. So you can turn power off and then use your flashlight. All right. Grand level. Just me. Heads up display. I want you to close. Let's walk it out. Let's walk it out. I'll walk it out. All right. At the residence door. Don't oh, yell. I guess I gotta hold the button down. Civilian? Okay. Taking lock. Yep. Or 
Where they located? Show me your hand. Scared me. Don't do that. Oh, that's not a door. Scouting under door. All right, nobody under there. Scouting under door. Oh my god, I gotta get rid of these things. Looking under door. Are they hiding? Oh. Who is that? Yeah, you stay there, sucker. Looking under the door. Shotgun perp in there. The hell? Who the hell's honking a horn? Police on your knees. Going flashbang. All right, we win. I concentrated way too hard on that. Wow. All rooms must be inspected for a floor to be clear. Uh, stop walking. Cleared all the rooms, didn't I? Ain't nobody there. Nobody there. Is there more? Nope. Unlocking door. Nobody there. Nobody there. All right, so I got all the evidence. We got everything, didn't we? Am I missed something? I'm confused. I'm supposed to check all the four. Oh, evidence. Oh, that was a collectible? No. I checked all the rooms, didn't I? Oh wait, there's... Check that bathroom. Am I supposed to? Am I actually supposed to arrest these people? Stay calm. Oh, okay. That's what you were supposed to do. That was weird. I'm trying to figure out why. Let's continue the briefing. That music's really loud. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out why they want you to arrest the other people. That doesn't make any sense. All challenges complete. No, no casualties. Damn right. Give me that. New area. New arcade map unlocked. Arcade map? Is there an arcade mode? New mission unlocked. Inconvenience. Oh, because it's a convenience store. Uh, okay. Ooh, we get the shotgun now. Uh, I guess arcades like 
Finish this as fast as you can with all the enemies in it. Weird. How do I go back? Oh, you can't. Okay, well. Hmm. I have to say, you know what? Let's let's play one more. Let's play one more. We can't get a full understanding of a first impression. This is, you know, our first impression of the game. I gotta at least play a little bit more. So let's let's missions inconvenience. Let's do that. All right, bring order to chaos. Collect all firearms and evidence. Inspect all rooms and areas. Rescue Rachel and rescue Michael. While approaching the speedy convenience store in Bayside this morning, Officer Layla Everett spotted the attendant being held at gunpoint by at least two armed hostiles. She retreated to her vehicle and called the switchboard for backup. According to the business owner, there are two employees at the scene, casual workers Michael and night manager Rachel. Convenience stores rarely hold large sums of money, so it's unlikely these are professional criminals. Regardless, the possibilities of narcotics also means the possibility of erratic behavior, so be careful. Let's get in quickly and resolve this peacefully. I hope. I'm going to change to the shotgun. Just in case I see somebody, I can just go bra bra bra. So, all right, let's go. I'm actually the, the first level is just kind of like a, you know, do what you learned and be able to do this. But this one should be a little bit different, maybe a little harder. Ooh, I'm outside the convenience store. Shh. What? Wait, which way do we go? Can we go this way? Oh, we can. Okay. I hear somebody walking around. Wait. Okay, those don't count. So we need to get in the store somehow. What's that? Is that a generator? Contact. Why'd you yell that? Scouting under door. Are you there? I've got someone. Okay. Looking under the door. Making sure that dude will come and run up on me because I'm gonna have to like brow brow. Looking under door. Spotted someone. Alright. Oh! What? Freeze! SWAT! Let me see your hand. hands in the air! SWAT! Hands up! Get down! Hands in the air! Police! On your put him up! Homeboy shot me a couple times. I actually took it to the chest. Wow. Oh my god, that dude tricked me. Oh, wow. All right, let's restart mission. I ain't playing around with these. <laughs> he put his gun down. Let me go after the other. Like, I didn't. How, how did they have flashbangs? I'm so confused. I don't understand how they had flashbangs. Cause that guy won't see me. I crouch and the guy doesn't see me. Under door, contact. Get down on the ground. Freeze. Let me see your hand. Stop where you are. Taking suspect into custody. Got one. Evidence secure. I gotta check all the rooms. I've got someone. Stop. Police. 
Hold still. All right, got to handcuff you too, buddy. Sorry. We got the other one. Looking under door. Let's see if he might say. Get down. Stop. Freeze. Stop. Stop where you are. Containing hostile. All right. Alright, so now Okay, we can take that. How do you get all the way over here though? Found someone here. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! How do I get there? There's like nowhere to get there. How do you, how did they get to the bathroom then? That don't make any sense. Making entry, making entry. Can't go in that way. Hands up, hands in the air. Look me, hands up. Show me your hands. Don't move. Arresting suspect. All right, woo. Evidence secure. All right. Securing evidence. Don't move. Don't move. I am handcuffing your ass. Come here. Hold still. And handcuff you. All right, we're done. Wait, what? That was only objective. Okay. That guy gave up too easy. He'd be dead to rice. Am I over the carport? I gotta find this other person. Hmm. All right, let's go back in here again. I handcuffed everyone else. Is there a place back here that I didn't see? Oh. I've got get down. Hands up. Stay calm. All right, I think we're done. Why can't I pick this up? That was dumb. There's no other room to look at. What am I supposed to look for then? Everyone's arrested. Hmm. Huh. There's gotta be somebody in this cardboard area. No? All right, I'm confused. Oh, I arrested everybody. Did I not arrest everybody? You're arrested. You're arrested. 
You're arrested. All right. Uh, you're arrested. So what am I missing? Okay, this is going to bother me that I don't know what I'm missing. It's probably right in front of my face. Like, I don't see any door to go in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody or anything. So I'm not sure what I need to do. Oh, I didn't see the door over here. How did I not see this door? Suspect spot. Don't move. On the ground. All right. I didn't see that office there. I think another thing they need to do is to make the doors a little bit um stick out more, so you know kind of what needs to be done and where to go. Otherwise, that's that's really confusing. Oh my god! And the music needs to be uh, the audio levels need to be balanced out a little bit better because <laughs> that is ridiculous. Uh huh. We got that. We didn't get that. We didn't get that. Take a shortcut inside. Oh no! Wow. Okay. This new arcade map. Speedy fuel convenience store. Okay. Remote monitoring is the new mission. All right, let's back out to the main menu. So, in conclusion, this is Hot Brass from developer Walk With Kings, publisher of Fellow Traveler. It is $14.99 right now on Steam. Uh, full release, it's actually not bad. I don't mind the icons, even though everyone else likes to hates the tokens. And that's the main thing everyone's complaining about. So why can't you? Are you going to put sprites in it later on? And it's it's fine the way it is. I like it the way it is. The thing that bothers me upon first impression, because this is a first impression video, uh, is they need to level out the audio. They need to uh, make the doors and things that you can open kind of like highlighted a little bit because I can see people that ha are vision impaired or just have a hard time seeing things like me um, stick out in the environment. It needs to stick out just a little bit more so I know where I'm going and what I'm missing. Um, what else? Um, that's really my biggest complaint. And um, otherwise, this game is actually pretty fun. I could see it definitely playing with four or three other play, play, um, people and kind of like strategizing how we're going to breach into the place. All right, you go up this way. You go to this door. We go to this door. Okay. We all go at once and let's go in and let's take it down. All right. You, you go. It, so it's basically playing like all the SWAT games, except it's more, uh, I don't want to say more accessible. I want to say it's more, um, arcadey in the sense of like, you got the icons moving around screen, top down view and all that stuff. So I see this being a great game. If you have a group of people that want to play with you, uh, it's still an okay game. If you want to play solo, but I think this game was intended to have more than one person play at a time. So I'm glad they put online mode in there. Um, I'm not going to do it just because at, at the time that I'm recording this, I don't think anyone's on. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this first impressions of hot brass. I dig it. Um, maybe you will too, if you're in this, these kind of tactics games. But anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of the day, evening, morning, wherever you are. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.